Hi, and welcome back to the channel. This prophetic word excerpt comes from Kathy Pelton, Portland, Oregon. Shields up. Yesterday, I heard the Spirit of the Lord say these words. Shields up. I was just beginning my morning prayer time when I heard this, and I began seeing the fiery darts of the enemy flying through the air towards God's people. I was immediately reminded of the verse in Ephesians 6.16. It says, In every situation, take the shield of faith. With it, you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. So I put up my shield of faith, began to extinguish the arrows or the darts that were flying toward those that I love and toward me. It is so important that the body of Christ understands and adheres to the wisdom found in Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. The armor of God is what covers us and keeps us from every plan that the enemy has to harm us, to distort our thinking and perspective, to tempt us, to distort the image of Christ before our eyes. We do not want to be found spiritually naked or having exposed areas that are vulnerable to the poisonous arrows of the evil one. We can raise our shields over our lives, over our loved ones, over our church and family, over our leaders. As the Spirit leads, we can shield those who he shows us with your shield of faith, You can also pull out the poisonous darts that have hit vulnerable or exposed places and people, even in you. Ask the Lord to come as the anti-venom to stop, to reverse all effects that the fiery dart has had, and to fully restore every affected area. As I prayed, the Spirit showed me specific individuals that had exposed areas that the enemy had hit. I was able to enter into intercession for them. I could see the Lord drawing out the poison, healing the wounds they received. Often these darts have the effects of creating poison thoughts against God or one another. They can cause distortions in how someone views God or views those around them. Or they can come to bring harm that stops the forward movement of someone who is pressing into God. These arrows are most often aimed at the most vulnerable and susceptible areas in an individual's soul. They are not covered. When they're not covered by the armor of God, they can hit their target and have devastating consequences. This is why every believer must be fully clothed in God's armor. What a wonderful gift Ephesians 6, 10 through 18 gives us. It gives us a defense, even an offense, against the evil one and his arrows. This is God's way of resisting temptations and every scheme of the enemy. This is how we take our stand against darkness, how we secure our stand in his glorious light. We must take his truth, his righteousness, his peace, our faith, our salvation, the grace, and his word. We wear it each and every day. So saints, shields up. Let's begin to extinguish those fiery arrows. Lord Jesus, we just lift up this word. Lord, we ask you, with our shield of faith. We say, enemy, you cannot harm us. Lord Jesus, we believe your plans. We believe your word, Father. We believe that you are stronger than any threat of the enemy. Lord Jesus, as these, as these arrows fly through the air, as they fly through the airwaves, Lord, we know. We know that we fix our eyes on you. Lord Jesus, create in us the ability to, to withstand to hold our faith high, knowing that you are a God who will not cause us to stumble and fall, but a God who boosts us up, buoys us up, and keeps us strong and mighty. Lord Jesus, we put on that armor of God today. Lord, we thank you that we can stand against the tactics of the enemy. We know that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but Lord, you have given us all that we need through righteousness and truth and peace and faith and salvation and grace and your word. And we wear that today, Father, with our shields up. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.